What is up everybody? It's CJ Placer and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Apple Creek. Now I'm really liking this world because it's giving me like the rustic vibe. It is like a little rustic island that's like being developed as you can see like with all like the skyscrapers and stuff. So really liking the vibes of this world. It's not super big by any means like... I don't know i would i mean it's running smooth for me so it may run smooth for you i'm not really sure i mean i would maybe just test it out i'm not really sure about all the packs and stuff that you'll need for this world i am seeing some late night over here and some ambitions as well but i'm not really sure about the other packs so i guess as we'll go along if i see something that you'll need or if y'all see something that you'll need let me know and i'll let y'all know so let's go ahead and get into it i think what i'm gonna do is start over here on this side of the world and then we'll go over here to this side so maybe we should start down here in this area and then like work our way around so let's go down here first to the butterfly galore all right y'all so we're down here and you have like this little house right here i'm assuming this is how you actually get underneath the dome so let's go ahead and scroll down real quick just to see yeah so you have like some stairs and when you scroll down you have like a little walkthrough area that leads up 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 underneath the dome so this is how you would get inside and underneath the dome is beautiful i don't think this is the one that came with late night i think this is something different i know there is like an object like this in late night but this is really cool i like it i like all the trees and stuff like that you have a pond down here where you can come and fish very serene very beautiful love the landscaping very nice and there's also like a subway down there as well all right y'all so now let's go over here next to the stella's salon and then we'll go over here after that to the blue bachelor's pub so let's check out the salon first all right y'all so we're down here at the salon and i do like the uh stone on the outside i like that alongside the paneling really cool there's like a little courtyard area out here where you can come and sit down and stuff like that a little well over here but let's go ahead and open it up i guess we'll start on this side and we'll check out the other side so all right so when you scroll down there's nothing up here at the top but you could probably put stuff up here if you wanted to and then there's nothing up here as well but you could definitely add more things up here you even have the stairway for you so you can add more onto it so when you scroll down and come in you have like a little sitting area over here then you have like the stylist station over here where you can come and get makeovers and stuff like that so pretty cool you have like three of them over here there's even like a little couch where you can come and sit down on and let's go ahead and go over here to this side so over here is like the side where you will get the tattoos and stuff so you have like a tattoo room here you have one over here as well you have like a little front desk space area when you come in so you could use this computer if you wanted to and then you also have like a little chair right here when you come sit in and i want to say that this picture right here came with world adventures so you will need that pack as well and then you have like an inaccessible room as well but when you scroll up just to show y'all again there is nothing on this side as well so you could definitely add more onto this lot if you really wanted to though all right y'all so now let's go over here and check out the pub next all right y'all so we're down here at the blue bachelor's pub and there is like a little pond right here where you can like i guess come and fish right beside of it let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come in you have like a stage right here with some instruments on it you have some tables where you can come and sit there is like a pretty big dance floor over here as well where you can come and dance if you wanted to there is the bar over here as well and then you have some bathrooms over here in the back and i don't think there's anything above it no so there's nothing above it nothing really behind it i don't think but you probably could like build more onto it maybe like add some stuff up here if you wanted to or like up here on the rooftop if you wanted to all right y'all so now let's go over here next to this park this is the apple creek main park so let's check this out next okay y'all so we're down here at the main park there is a really big pond out here where you can come and fish if you want to there are some art easels over here so you can use those you can build some skills out here if you wanted to there's also like another art easel over there and then over here is a little playground area with a swing set slide and you have a little playhouse as well so you can come take your kits here i wonder if you could play in the sand can you play in the sand yes you can so you have some playable sand if you need it <laughs> um but i think that may be it for it i don't really see anything else out here just a lot of trees and stuff like that but very beautiful uh area you oh no there is some stuff out here look at this <laughs> so back here like under the trees and stuff in the back you have some chess tables and you have a telescope so you have a lot of good skill building items and stuff like that on this lot i don't think there's anything else though like i'm looking around not seeing anything else so yeah this park is pretty cool though all right y'all so now let's go over here next to the fire department so this is the not so fiery fire station and then we'll go over here next to the mary's laundromat afterwards so let's check out the fire station first all right y'all so we're down here at the fire station and i do like the way it looks it's kind of reminding me of a house kind of and i do like it i like the stone and stuff like that and the paneling let's go ahead and open it up though i see so when you come in you have like the fire truck over here on this side with the pole you also have a little office area in here as well with some chairs a computer desk stereo little couch where you can come and sit on a little love seat where you can sit on you have the bookshelves as well so you could definitely come in here and you know just you know use the computer if you want to or read a book and then over here in this area you have the drafting table you also have the inventing table over here some lockers and then you have like the treadmill weight machines as well more bookshelves over there in the corner and then when you scroll up you have a you have like the beds in here where you can come and sleep you have a foosball table in here as well and then you also have a bathroom over here and then like over here on this side which i don't even know how you would get over here how would you get to the side is that like stairs or something i have no idea but there is an art easel over here another bathroom as well the little siren is over here maybe you can 
I don't like how would you come over here y'all do y'all know but anyway <laughs> and then out here on the back you do have a trampoline so you can definitely come here and have your firefighters work build some skills relax and have fun and all that all right so now let's go over here next to the Mary's laundromat all right y'all so this is like a really small laundromat it's inside of this building I mean you just have like the washers and drawers and stuff like that and you have like little places where you can come and sit pretty cool really small there is nothing else above it or anything like that I'll show y'all really quick though so it is pretty empty but you have a nice laundromat if you need it all right y'all so now let's go over here I'm gonna start like here and then we'll go to like all the little places so let's start right here to this lounge this is the the immortal flame so let's go ahead and check this out real quick so when you come in you just have these statues right here and there's nothing above it so I'm assuming like everything is down below so let's go ahead and just zoom all the way down just to see so I made it a little bit brighter in here so y'all could see but when you come off the elevator you have like places over here where you can come and sit you have a little area over here with the keyboard and the base and then over here you have like the bar from late night so you can come and get a drink if you want to and then in here you have the vampire altars where your vampires can come in here and sleep and stuff like that so I'm assuming that this is maybe a lounge for vampires or just mate with vampires in mind so pretty cool if you have vampires you could definitely have them come and hang out here all right y'all so now let's go right next to it and we'll check out the converted penthouse and then after that we'll go to the dark horse so let's check out this penthouse first all right y'all so we're down here at this penthouse lot so I guess this is like the outside of it because you have like a pool right here there's also like a little place where you can come and sit you have like a little buffet table over here in the back you have a little chair right here where you can come and sit and look out at the world dance floor right here and a wall speaker but when you actually go inside I'll bring the walls down so you can see so when you come inside you have a bar right here there's also another bar right here as well you have a keyboard little sitting area over here another little sitting area over here as well and then you have like a little hot tub so definitely could come here and just hang out you know with your sims and stuff like that so this is a pretty cool lot though all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out the dark horse all right y'all so there's nothing really down here in the lobby area just some places to sit when you come off the elevator you have a little sitting area over here in the corner you also have a nice dance floor right here as well you have a uh, bar over here another little dance floor in the corner and then you have like these little rooms over here so i guess this is like a little dance area right here with some mirrors so that's pretty cool and it even has the effect machine you have the bathrooms over here as well you have bathrooms over here and then there's also some bathrooms over here as well so pretty cool bathrooms and then you also have like another little room over here with some mirrors where you can come and dance at if you really wanted to so this lot is pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go across the street to the underground den and then we'll go over here to the gold coin so let's check out the underground den first all right y'all so we're down here in the little lobby area and there's nothing here when you scroll up there's nothing so i think we have to go downstairs right yeah so let's go ahead and go downstairs so down here when you get off the elevator you have some booths and stuff like that where you can come and sit you have a little mini dance floor a buffet table you also have a bar right here and then you have the bathrooms over here as well so this is a really cool little bar area you know all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out the gold coin all right y'all so down here in the lobby there's nothing really but statues and fountains and stuff like that so when you go up the elevator oh this is really nice wait, wait wait so when you come in you have like a little sitting area right here as it is roped off so i guess you have to have like access to get it in but once you come in you have bookshelves and stuff like that places the lounge out over here by this nice pool so like let me just zoom around for a second so you have like this nice pool area you have a hot tub right here you have the bar there is also another little sitting area over here some wall speakers bookshelves and stuff like that over here you have a bathroom with a shower and then there's also like another bathroom with a shower over here as well so this little lounge is really nice i really like it. i like how gold it is there's even like a little statue over here as well so pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go over here to this little dance club this is the office and then we'll go over here to the blue dragon afterwards so let's check out the blue dragon first let's check out the office first all right so when you come into the building you just have like this really long hallway you maybe could add more things over here on the sides if you wanted to but i'm not really sure so when you come off the elevator you have two dance floors you have a little sitting area over here another little sitting area over here as well there's also like another little space right here can i bring the walls up in case i'm not missing anything oh so they like little dance rooms oh that's pretty cool though so you have like a little private dance room over here with some effect machines and wall speakers and stuff like that and little lights and then you have like another one over here that's green that's really cool and then you have of course the bar right here from late night so really nice bar plenty of places to sit and stuff like that so this lot is pretty cool and then i missed this but they're outside of the building you have like a little sitting area with some fountains so pretty cool there's even like the little subway there is like the little diner over here as well so this is really nice i like it all right y'all so now let's go over here to this lot this is the blue dragon so let's check this out all right so down here you just have a little lobby area with some places to sit and you also have like a little fountain so when you go up the elevator though ooh, this is really nice so when you come off the elevator you have like a little room right here with a little place to sit it is roped off so like this part you need vip access for but this part you can kind of walk into there is a bar right here you have some places to sit down as well and then there's even like a little dance floor right here another little place to sit over here as well and then over here on this side that's roped off 
off, you have another little dance floor right here, more places to come and sit. And then you have a hot tub over here as well, which is really nice. And then over here, you have like some places to sit down. You have like the little aquarium item that came with late night, which I really like that a lot. And then you also have like a bar over here as well. This is a really nice lot because I do like how you have a view of the water right here. So that's pretty cool. All right, y'all. So we've seen pretty much everything over here on this side of the world. We'll save some of the houses and stuff for later. But now let's go over here to this side of the world and let's go ahead down here first. I guess we'll start right here and we'll walk our way around. So let's go down here to the salt shaker gazebo. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the salt shaker gazebo. Let's go ahead and zoom down and see what it looks like on the inside. So you have a buffet table in here. There are some places to come and sit over here as well. You have a platform with some instruments on it. There's also a telescope so you can like, you know, come and look out at the world if you really wanted to. So that's pretty cool. You have another little place to sit over here as well. And then you do have like a little area down here that you can come and just chill at. It's kind of like a little beach area. You can come and lounge down here if you really want it to you can just come and play in the water or just look out at the world all right y'all so now let's go over here next to this consignment store so this is the molly mcirish shop so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at this shop i do like the way it looks with like the pointy roof pretty cool let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come in you have the consignment register right here of course you have a sculpture right here art easel drafting table there's even like a keyboard in here as well you do have a bathroom over here in the back and you have like a little sitting area right here with the tv bookshelf and stuff like that treadmill you have a base there's a fortune cookie machine there's also like a bookshelf over here in the corner so it is a consignment store if you need one so pretty cool you can also come here and build some skills if you really wanted to and i think it even has like a little space right here for the food truck to spawn so that's really nice all right y'all so now let's go over here to this lot this is the converted warehouse so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the converted warehouse and there is like a little food truck right here so that's pretty cool but let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come in you have a ball right here bathrooms over here in the back there are some dance floors right here so that's pretty cool as well you have like another little countertop space where you can come and sit if you want it to wall speaker over there on the wall places to sit over here you have a wall speaker and then you have some stairs that lead upward so let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs it's kind of lofted but you have like places to come and sit out here if you really want it to you have like the little aquarium item that came with late night and then when you come out through these doors to the rooftop you have a little place to sit there's also like a hot tub over here as well another little bar area so that's pretty cool so this lot is pretty cool though so if you need like a little bar or something to go to you can definitely come here all right y'all so now let's go over here to this area this this is the architect's dream and then we'll go over here to the smuggler's hideout revamped so let's check out the architect's dream first all right y'all so we're down here on this little lot and it was not lying it is an architect's dream <laughs> so you have like a sculpting station there's like the tattoo chair you have the inventing table art easel and the drafting table over here as well so so this is a really good little area right here so you can use it to come build some skills if you wanted to all right y'all so now let's go over here next to the smuggler's hideout revamped all right y'all so we're down here at the smuggler's hideout and we have some chess tables over here as well some art easels and a foosball table so good skill building items you can also use this to have fun and stuff like that so over here next we have the beachy beach so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the beachy beach and you have some lounge chairs out here as well some umbrellas as well you do have like the water so you can come and use that and swim around in it if you really want it to you have like this little gazebo over here so let's go ahead and zoom down so underneath it you just have like a little sign and then there's also a stereo under here so you, i guess you could use this to come and dance if you want to or you could also like maybe replace this and put like a wedding arch if you wanted to maybe you can have your sims get married here if you want it to there are some dumpsters over here as well that you can dumpster dive in all right so next let's go over here to the construction peach junkyard and then we'll go over here to the fallen garden so let's check out the junkyard first all right y'all so we're down here at the junkyard and it looks pretty cool a little building over here you have like some dumpsters of course you have like the yard out here where you can come and collect the scrap i see like a bed you can come and salvage a sink and stuff like that couch right here and some chairs so a lot of stuff out here that you can come and salvage if you really want it to let's go ahead and just look at the inside of the building really quick though so when you come inside you have a bathroom over here in the corner you have like a little office desk right here with a stereo and a computer you also have a bookshelf over here a little place to sit and another bookshelf over here as well and then of course again you do have like the little area out here where you can come and salvage and stuff like that you can also make nectar over here I, you also have like the nectar machine out here in a drill but i don't know if you can actually use the nectar machine because it is kind of like you know in the corner but you do have the machine if you need it you know all right y'all so now let's go over here next to the fallen garden all right y'all so we're down here at the fallen garden it is a graveyard lot and there is the mausoleum over here you have tons of graves and stuff like that there's like this sinkhole or something or a little hole down here that some sims are in so i don't know what that is about maybe like the grave collapse or something like that i'm not really for sure but over here you have like a little private grave site and then you do have like a pond out here where you can come and fish if you really want it to but yeah you have a graveyard if you need it all right y'all so now let's go over here this way and let's check out the all fitness gym and then we'll go over here to the, the 20 past curfew art gallery 
So let's check out the gym first. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the gym and it looks kind of like a house, honestly, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and zoom down though. Let's see, so when you come in, you have like a little pool area right here. You have the treadmills, weight machines and stuff like that. There's also a bathroom over here in the corner. You have shuffleboard, more bathrooms over here as well with showers in them. And then you have like a little walk through area right here with another hot tub so you can come out here and chill in the hot tub if you really want it to but let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs there's just a stereo up here so you can come and like dance and stuff like that and work out if you really want it to there's also like a dresser and a tv but that's pretty much it i think for the inside of this lot now let's go ahead and go next door to it because i think this is like the art gallery yeah so this is like the 20 past curfew art gallery right beside of it let's go ahead and scroll down and see what it looks like on the inside oh you know what i think this is more so a museum not an art gallery though but same vibe same vibe <laughs> but when you come in you have like some sculptures and stuff like that that are roped off there is also another little room in here that's roped off it looks like it's furniture and stuff like that so pretty cool bookshelf you have a bookshelf and a little base over here over here looks like a roped off dining table some more alt sculptures and stuff like that a roped off kitchen area so that's pretty cool roped off bathroom and let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have some more sculptures and stuff like that up here you have another roped off a bathroom one over here as well you have a roped off nursery there's also a bedroom in here that's roped off and you have another bedroom that's roped off as well and you have like the bathrooms as well that's roped off and let's go ahead and like go backwards because this i assume is like a pool area or a park it's called the spooky jacks so it looks like it's a little pool or maybe like a community pond or something let's just see what it looks like you have like a pool over here some lounge chairs and stuff like that you have a grill places to come and sit down there's also a hot tub over here as well you have a swing set and there is a slide let's go ahead and open this building up though so inside of it you just have bathrooms one over here one with urine and stalls and then one over here with just some stalls so pretty cool oh you know what it was it's classified as a pool that makes sense okay so let's go ahead and go back this way y'all and check out the intelligent tutor and then we'll go over here and check out the pete's fishing frenzy so let's check out the uh library first all right y'all so we're down here at the library it looks just like a little house very tutor style let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have an art easel plenty of bookshelves and stuff like that in here there's also a chess table a little place to sit over here and read with an inventing table sculpture station keyboard and base there's also that little game that came with ambitions there's also the telescope out here as well and then you have like a little kids room in here with the computer desk so pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go over here to the little fishing spot all right y'all so we're down here at this little fishing spot area and there are some art easels of course you're right here by the water and then you do have the pond where your sims can come and fish at if you want to so pretty cool little area out here you know all right y'all so we've seen most of the community lots let's go ahead now and just check out some of the houses i think we'll what we'll do is we'll start down here and we'll like work our way around we'll we might not get a chance to see all of them but i'll like skip around just to give y'all like a general idea of what the world looks like so let's check out like these two houses right here first all right y'all so we have this house and it looks kind of familiar to a house that i've seen before i'm not sure if this is like custom built for this world or just placed down but it looks pretty cool though you have like a little porch out here with some chairs let's go ahead and zoom down though to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a living room area right here there is a dining table there's a kitchen you have a bathroom in the back and then there is a bedroom right here then there's also like another bedroom right here with a, with a desk in it and there is like a washer and dryer so you can use this house to wash clothes if you really wanted to all right so now let's go ahead and go across the street really quick so this house is really pink looking there's also like a little car out here as well you have like a little area right here with the clothesline and a washing machine so let's go ahead and open up the house though so when you come inside you have a be bedroom right here bathroom right over here a another bedroom maybe this one's for kids or teenagers there is a little crib right here for babies and toddlers there is an art easel you have the kitchen area over here with the little high chair and then there's also like a little living room area right here with the art easel tv and a little couch area so this house is pretty cool though all right y'all so now let's go over here to this little area and we'll check out these two houses so let's start at this one first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i do like the brick and stone it's pretty cool i like how you have like this little porch area walkthrough air space that's pretty nice as well but let's go ahead and zoom down let's see so when you come inside you have like the kitchen right here with the kitchen countertops and the microwave food processor you have a bedroom right here with a with the crib in it and then you also have like another bedroom right here washer dryer bathroom room area you have the kitchen table right here and then you also have a little living room area with a high chair in it so pretty cool now let's go ahead and check out the house that's like right beside it looks kind of similar but like different layout and stuff like that it has a swing set outside of it let's go ahead and zoom down real quick though let's see so when you come in you have a living room area right here dining table 
you have a stereo there's also a computer desk right here there's also a bookshelf a bathroom right here there is a little laundry space right here you have the kitchen right here so it's like a really narrow kitchen there's also a bedroom right here and one right here as well this one has like the little like oven object that kids can cook on there's also a there's also a dollhouse right here as well you have another bedroom right here with the crib in it and then you have another bathroom over here in the corner so looking pretty cool this house has a lot of space in it though all right y'all so now let's check out a couple of the apartments but let's check out this one first all right y'all so when you come into this apartment it is like a one story type of situation so there's nothing really above it or anything like that i'll show y'all so it is just like a one room type of thing though but when you come in you have a kitchen area right here with the washer and dryer there is an art easel you have a keyboard in here as well you have a living room area there's also a bedroom right here a bathroom well, it's kind of like a jack and jill because i have the bathroom's like in the middle of it but there's also like another bedroom right here as well with a crib and there's also a little potty right here so this is pretty cool there's also like the kitchen table right here in the corner and then now in here in the lobby area you just have like a place to sit all right y'all so now let's go like next to it and check out this apartment all right y'all so we're down here at the apartments that's like right next door to it let's go ahead and scroll down so it is like a little mini lobby area so nothing really down down here so i think you have to like scroll all the way down though yeah so when you come all the way down you have like the little hallways right here when you come inside the apartment though you have a living room space right here you have like a little kitchen over here so that's cool with the washer and dryer in it and then you have the bedrooms over here on this side so you have like one right here with two double beds in it you have like a master bedroom right here you have an entrance that leads to this bathroom and you can also go to the bathroom this way so i'm guessing it's like a jack and jill situation so pretty cool apartment though all right y'all so now let's go over here next to this apartment and let's just see what it looks like on the inside okay also inside of this apartment you have a kitchen area right right here there is also the living room area right here you have a self-serving bar there's also a little like office -y workspace area over here in the corner with a pewter desk and an art easel and stuff like that another bookshelf right here i'll bring the walls up so y'all can see when you come out here on the rooftop you have a hot tub over here with a stereo there is also a little place where you can come and lounge and you have shuffleboard over here as well and then there are some stairs that go upward so let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick i'll bring the walls down so when you go upstairs you have a base over here in the corner you have a bedroom right here with a keyboard in it there's also a bathroom area right here kind of like a jack and jill because you can come in through this bedroom as well so this is like the master bedroom with a tv inside of it there's also like another bathroom right here and you can come into like the nursery this way if you wanted to or come this way so pretty cool apartment i would say all right y'all so now i'll show y'all the house that i placed elliot down at so we'll go down here and i guess we could check out the one beside of it because this is like right next door to it all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at it's a really nice home but let's go ahead and open it up though so when you come in you have a living room area right here there's also a kitchen area right here bathroom and you have a bedroom room as well with a little crib in it and you got like a little space right here that leads out to like a little back door area or side door area so that's pretty cool as well then of course y'all know i'm already here with elliot my toy god sim if you don't know who he is he was in my nightmare legacy challenge series if you want to watch that series i'll leave it linked down below but now let's go ahead and go to the house that's next door to him so this one's a little bit taller i would say but let's go ahead and open it up though so when you come in there is a little living room area right here with the washer there's like a clothes on out here where you can dry your clothes clothes basket over here as well kitchen high chair kitchen table bookshelf and then there's also like a bedroom in here as well bathroom over here in the corner and then when you go upstairs there is another bathroom over here as well you have a bookshelf in the corner and then you have like a bedroom over here maybe for kids or teenagers with a little crib in it and then you have a little dresser as well there's also like a little potty in the corner all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go over here and let's check out this house all right y'all so we're down here at this house and it is a really nice tutor style let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come in you have a little living room area right here there's like a bedroom right here with the fireplace and a computer desk and also a stereo with a tv in it so that's pretty cool there is the dining room area over here with the keyboard there's also like the high chair in the corner and then you have like the kitchen area right here with the washer and dryer over here in this little area you have like a little porch area right here where you could definitely add more onto it if you want to you have a trampoline and let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have a, a little narrow hallway area with a activity table right here i think it may be blocking the space you might have to move that though if you want to get to like the nursery right here or the, the bathroom <laughs> Uh, but you have like a little bathroom area right here nursery of course you have like a bedroom in here with two double beds maybe for kids or teenagers you have a computer desk in here as well and there's also a little toy box so pretty cool all right y'all so now let's check out this big house right here all right y'all so we're down here at this house it's giving me like a log cabin -y vibe i really like that <laughs> especially like how it like has like a little balcony right here let's go ahead and zoom down though let's see so i zoomed all the way down to the bottom so down here you have a bathroom you have a bedroom right here with an with its own ensuite bathroom there is another bedroom right here and then you have like a little nursery area right here so that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and go upstairs again so upstairs you have a living room area right here with the piano and an art easel in it also a stereo there is like a private room over here where you can come and get into the hot tub if you wanted to of course you have a little balcony area out here where you can come and 
lounge. There's also like another stereo right here as well. And then you have a kitchen area right here, which looks pretty cool. I like the marble on it. That's pretty nice. There's also like a deck out here with a telescope base. You have places to sit and some more art easels if you need them. And then let's go ahead and go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs again, there's really nothing up here but storage space in the attic. You could definitely add more stuff up here and maybe delete these boxes or something if you need more space. But this is a pretty cool house. And of course, it has like two cars out here. This house is kind of cool because it has like this little private trail that leads out here to the fishing spot that we saw earlier. All right, y'all. So now let's check out this big house next. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this pretty big house. And I like the landscaping and stuff on it. I like how like the stone kind of matches the plants out in front. Let's go ahead and open it up though. Let's see. So when you come inside, you have a big living room area right here. Smaller little sitting area right here with the computer desk. You also have the dining room in here with the fireplace. There's also like a mini like bathroom slash like laundry room. Kitchen area right here. And then out here on the deck, you have a little place to sit. There is also like a little playground area for kids to play on. There's also like a garden growing right here in the back. And when you go upstairs, you have a nursery right here, a bathroom. There's also a bedroom right here as well. And then you also have a little deck out here where you can come and lounge and listen to music if you want to. And then over here on this side of the house, you have another bedroom. And there's also a bathroom over there as well. And there's even some more stairs. So let's go upstairs again. So up here, like in the attic space, there's really nothing, but you could definitely add way more stuff up here if you really wanted to though. And then there's also like this little garage out here. So let's go ahead and just zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside. So you just have like one car in it though, but you may be able to add more things in here if you really wanted to. All right, y'all. So now let's go over here back to this area and we'll check out like this big house. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this house again, really liking the stone. So let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see. So when you come in, you have like a little walkthrough area right here with the keyboard and the treadmill. That is also a stereo right here. There is a little living room area right here. That's pretty cool. And then over here on this side, you just have like the dining space with a laptop right there. You have a bedroom right here with a crib in it there's also a bathroom right here and then you have the kitchen over here and then there's e there's even like a little deck space out here you can come and like add things if you want it to there's even like another little space right here that you can come out and add more things if you want it to and then out here on the back there's also some art easels and some chess tables so you have a lot of space in this house and let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick though and then when you go upstairs let's see you have a bathroom or maybe like a little sauna area in here so that's pretty cool you have a bedroom right here and then you also have like another little bedroom right here with a computer desk now let's go to the house that's like right next door to it i like how it's kind of like on a hill and it has like a little area underneath it but let's go ahead and open it up though so when you come in you have a living room area right here there's also a kitchen space you have a bathroom and then over here like through the walkthrough area there is a art easel and then you also have like a bedroom right here with a crib in it and then there's also like a little sitting space right here as well so this house is pretty cool and then let's go ahead and check out the house that's like right next door to it all right let's see so let's go ahead and open it up uh down here on the deck space you have a hot tub there's also the inventing table and then when you come inside the house there is like the kitchen right area right here bathroom you also have a bedroom area right here a little sitting area and then you have like another bedroom right here as well and then out here on the deck you have like places to lounge out at and more places to come and sit there's even like a little drum set out here all right y'all so now let's check out this little house right here next all right y'all so we're down here at this little house let's go ahead and just open it up real quick to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have like a little living room space right here there's a kitchen over here in the corner laundry space right here there's also like a bedroom and you have like a bathroom over here as well all right y'all and now let's just check out this big house last all right y'all so we're down here at this pretty big house that's kind of like on a cliff which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, let's see. So when you come in, you have a pool area right here. You have some places where you can lounge at, listen to music if you really wanted to. A bathroom right here. Big, nice living room with all the windows. Really nice in here. There's also like a dining table right here. You have a stereo. Kitchen over here in the corner. Piano if you need it. I guess this is how you would probably enter in through the house, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs though. It's kind of like a loft kind of. So when you go upstairs, you have a little living room area right here. You have a bathroom over here in the corner, art easel, another bedroom with a computer desk and a stereo inside of it. You have a bathroom in here with a hot tub. So these Sims living really lavish out here. And then you have like a little game room area right here with shuffleboard, arcade games. There's a TV in here. There's also like a stereo and you can play darts in here if you really want it to. So you have tons of space in this house, tons of activities, tons of things to do. These Sims are living really lavish. There's like three cars out here, but in Anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. I know I skipped around a little bit. I didn't show off all the houses. There's just a lot in this world. Again, this world is called Apple Creek. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to check it out. I'm not sure about all the packs you'll need again, but I was seeing Late Night and Ambitions and some items from World Adventures as well. So it might just be those three packs. I'm not really sure. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me is free and at my Discord server because we talk about the Sims all the time and it's a really cool vibe. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this one and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.